So um, it's titled "When She Tries Her Friends on You" by Long Beach Griffin. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Here we go. Crystal, hey. Oh, uh, I got you these flowers because I was thinking about you. So I got you some flowers. Oh my God, that's so nice, friend. Thank you, bud. Yeah, uh, the flowers are almost as beautiful as you do. Oh, thanks, fam. Yeah, you know, the flowers look good together. I think me and you would look good together. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Bro, chill. I want to be with you. I want to be with you. <laughs> Nigga, you're like my brother, my guy. <laughs> oh, brother, brother. That's so mean. Yes, my brother. Step brother. My brother. Like church, like brother Anthony. <laughs> I will never date you, nigga! Okay? Brother like Alabama, Alabama. I don't want you! I don't want you! I will never want you! Ever! Like brothers. <laughs> Ever! Like mom went away and I'm blackmailing you. We gotta do some nasty stuff. Nigga! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. So, so ladies, oh, oh, how do you tell a guy you want to be friend <laughs> in the friend zone without being like harsh? How do you do it? I don't look like you like that. I just well, tell well, hold on, hold on. One at a time, ladies. Yeah. One at a time. This is how it goes. We ask a question, and then we're gonna go bang, bang, and then because, uh, and then we'll go around so everyone can get their opinion. And obviously, science. he went a little bit hard. Yeah. But most girls would never go that far. They'd be like. Oh, you know, we're just well, cool, whatever. How do you tell guys to let them down? Maybe Shaniqua from the block will go that hard, but exactly. A, yeah. How would you let a guy down into the friend zone? I'll just tell him. I'll just tell him straight up. To his face? Yeah. Like how? Like like that? <laughs> or how? How? Can, can you give us a, a mock? Uh, let, uh, let's say. Speak to the mic. I'm gonna. I want to take you on a date. We're we we're friends. How would you reject me? I would be like, we're just friends. Just like that. Just like that. But what do you mean we're just friends? We've been out plenty of times. I took you to movies yesterday. I had my arm around you. I, what do you mean we're just friends? You're my homie. You're my four lifer. You know? Yeah. Four life like together. Four like lifer. we could go on like four <sighs> life in a bed somewhere. We could be together like that. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? It depends. Depends on what? Money, penis size. Like. <laughs> <laughs> if you're my friend, you're my friend. So I'll cry right then and there. I'll break down. Bruh. <laughs> So that's how you let them. Know. Okay, so you okay. you will basically. I, I see what she's doing here. She would keep it very very simple, open to interpretation. Let the guy continue to ask, and then she'd be like, "All right, no, 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 like a friend." And then okay, fair enough. Smooth. So okay, what about you? Are you you work in nightlife, so all the time niggas are trying to hit hit on you. How do you let them down slowly? It's like, <clears throat> like yo, watch out, nigga. Like, <laughs> watch your hands for one. And then two is just like, like for me, I don't know what type of girls you're used. To. I don't know what type of girls you're used to, but I'm not that type of girls. Like we cool to a certain extent, but like if I don't like lead on, like that you're my like I'm fucking with you, then no, we just friends. The nigga, you grits. Yeah, we get like <laughs> <laughs> you grits. Okay, cool, fair enough. I would also agree. I would just be honest. Like it's just not. What would you say? It's just not there. Like sorry. You would just there. say it's just not there. It's just not there. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> like the feeling. Like there has to be a spark. You know. A this, spark? this is not for you, okay? He's, he's gonna talk shit. He's gonna be like, you. "We're at this fucking restaurant, and this chef is sparking this food right now." What are you talking about? There's no spark. Mm -hmm. What's your gonna be your response to that? Be like, do you want me to pay the bill? Like, what's the problem? Oh, oh. oh. fighting words. Okay, yeah. When a girl says, "I'm gonna pay the bill," that's that is fighting words, pretty much. That means, uh, yeah, you better I, go home, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Fair enough. I gotta say, for me, I'm not a really a confrontational person. So, like, I'm straight up. Don't get me wrong. But there's some occasions when you just like. You can already tell how they're like sliding, so you just get to talking about your other niggas. Oh, yeah. oh. okay. <laughs> like you just yeah. literally treat them as a friend, like just like she said. All of a sudden, you're paying for stuff too. We out, okay? So no, I got it. It's good. Hey, I was talking to this other guys did yesterday. Actually, no, it was fantastic. Oh my god, no, that's like oh, that's really that's, that's too me. Much. That's too much. Doing it. Yeah, I would never put my business. So like you're that. gonna tell him about other guys? That's what he's gonna think in his head. No, but oh well, if he thinks that, that's on him. If you want to imagine it, it hurts yourself you more. <laughs> But yeah. So I have a question. Much. Have you ever like led a nigga on? Because I feel like let's be I real. I think every woman has done yeah. that. Yeah. See, that's yeah. the thing though. I feel like it's. I feel like in a conversation we talking about like, yeah, like we're being honest, but at the same time, because even me, even niggas like me, like I feel like I've led people on. So I feel like, have you ever been in a situation where, and y'all still do? I feel like y'all still do. 
Well, y'all lead a nigga on. Like, but sometimes I feel like, you don't do y'all, always know. Like, that's what I tell guys, too. You can start off as a friend. And I like to start off as friends anyway because that's how you build a good relationship. I'm serious. Like, the best relationships I have have been friends first. And I think guys initially think it has to be we're talking. I don't know you. Be see, my I, friend. See, I, feel I that. don't know. You don't know me. I could be crazy. Yeah, you don't I, even know. I feel that. But I feel like in some situations, and I've been, to, I've been through it, too. I, I, I've, I've pursued a woman, but she would never say... Like y'all saying, she would never be a hundred percent honest. She would just hope that I got the I got the signs, mm. and then she would be saying stuff like, "Oh, you know, oh, <laughs> you're so cute. That's cute." But she would never say, "Nah, nigga, I ain't fucking with you." It would always be like, "Oh my god, really? You okay. think I'm the center of your universe?" Oh, <laughs> but what's up with y'all being mad about being friend zoned initially no, when y'all do not know these women? Nah, it's never you know, about that's it's, the thing. That nah, it's guys never about being. About. It's never about being mad. It's all about being. Women say that they're they're they're, and I'm not saying y'all be haven't mad. been 100 percent with people. Women say they're 100, percent but in 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 the same breath, a lot of women say. You, they, they never they're never 100 percent. they're just like <clears throat> oh my god you're so cute you're so mm. cute mm. can i get another drink and it's like <laughs> they like gotta y'all not game. really y'all not really like, telling me but see that's the thing most niggas can't peep game most yeah exactly niggas, yeah. most niggas they want y'all so bad they're not thinking about peeping game they're thinking about oh so what's good like is we really really and it's like y'all don't want to hurt these niggas so y'all say Oh, that's See, but so that'll bad. get you friends on being too oh. thirsty initially when you could have just talked to me and got to know me and then it possibly could have just flowed, but, see, but they, they want to force it. It's like, also they, awkward they, when you're friends for a long time and then they pull that card mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I Yeah, have but a lot of women, let's be real, a lot of and women And then you don't want to hurt their feelings because they've been your friend exactly. for so and that's long. The, and that's the thing. A lot of women don't want to hurt their feelings because yeah. they've been friends for so long yeah. and that's what a lot of women do. They say... Oh my god! They try to work know, around it slowly. Wow, you're so cute. <laughs> I got a Stop quick question it. for the ladies. It, it's not even you got. Don't even got to say yes or no. Just a raise of hands. Have you ever been out on a date and or meet up with a guy that you had zero intention of having sex with? Raise your hands if yes. Okay. Uh, Damn. Everybody. You've never been out with a guy that you didn't have intention of having sex with. Maybe a guy that you're friend zone with that you friend zone. No, I don't really go on this like that. Stop the cap. Okay, so one <laughs> one out of uh, a bunch. Wait, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. What was the question? The question is, have you ever been out with a member of the opposite gender, a man, whatever it is, right? With zero intention of having sex with him. Oh, okay. But so, that's my thing. Why is your intention but initially hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna to show you the have difference. sex? I'm going to show you the difference. All right. Let's ask the guys. Oh. Have you ever went out with a woman Horrible. with zero intentions of having sex? Never mind. Okay. Exactly. Oh, that's the difference, ladies. Hell no. Men go out with women for a purpose. Women go out with men for a different purpose. Yeah. Why though? Like, why is sex that important? You don't even know me. That's like, you're, when you're so tying something. You well, why? Why is my attention so important? You don't even know me. Right, but why? Can you initially, as soon as you see me, like, damn, I want to fuck. Like, damn, you don't even know. Me. Well, why do you? Why do you want to? Why do you see me? You want to have random conversations that are long as hell and waste both of our time. <laughs> I want to know who the fuck you <laughs> are. Thank question. you. I don't know question. why you yeah, want to give me my pussy. penis. Want to know your pussy? So, for example, let's say, who's your favorite artist? I don't have one. I ain't gonna lie. I don't. I don't have one. Um, but what I mean, do you like I the like most? Future. Actor, celebrity. I like Future. I like Future. Brent Fires. Speaking of Future, was, was, was in town, right? And said to you, look, I'm here for, in town. for one night. Yeah, he's in town. I'm here for one night. I like your vibe. You know what I'm saying? Let's go Let's go back to my spot. You want to go? I'm I'm a go, but so okay, okay. you can't you cannot <laughs> fuck you can't <laughs> fuck like it's not gonna happen. You gotta not tell him love up front because he's the I don't I'm good that. love. Enjoy. You gotta <laughs> tell him. I don't, I don't care how much money you have. I don't care what you do for a living. I don't agree with that because if Kalani came in and we was That's talking and boy, she though. was all like, you know what? She's fine. So yeah, I'm wait, I'm not not future is fine. I'm a nigga and I think future is fine. Everybody's not on that type of time. I'm gonna call right there. You would not smash future. I know. Oh, nothing. Oh, like, you wasn't giving that vibe. You wouldn't be guys. Future. She licked her lips just, just now. Yeah, I did. Like, All right. Yeah. Would, you, would you at no, least, would you give him a BJ? Fuck no. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, okay. Like dead ass. Like dead ass. I'm not gonna suck some dick that I don't She's know. Salivating. I don't know you. I don't know where your dick has been. Chris, you have a lot of baby oh, moms that die. Like, no, no. Okay, I'm a man. I'm not even suck future dick. Chris, throw me one. All right, stop the cap. Really, everybody doesn't think like that. So, I'm top in future. So, 
So basically what I'm saying is they're like, <laughs> what do you get out of that? That's huh? one thing. What do you get out of just fucking a rich nigga? Like, if she just give him a pussy, what are you it's even future. getting? Uh, it's it's all all what are you it's getting? Right. If we knew, you might get a child support check. You might get a support check. You might get a future. You might get a future. You might get a future. You might get a tattoo. I'm giving future the craziest top he ever had. From what I've seen, he got a whole lot. Yo, crazy. He ain't giving you no ring. He's not giving you nothing out of fucking on the floor. Like, she. All we're saying is that there's at least one Sorry. type of guy that just turns you on. So all this my friendship nigga. stuff, my nigga. Hold on, huh? All this friendship stuff, all this thing like, oh, make you wait first. That guy, if, if he shows up, you can go, you, you're gonna go for it. No, that's so, different though. That's like the energy. You're like, damn, like this is just boom attraction. Like that's different. That's not every single guy that got some red or whatever. He's future, and then you just like drop my drop. But mm-hmm. that, like, that being said, future or not, guy energy. All we're saying is that some guys. Never even get the chance because you guys are like, hey, you know what? They didn't have that. You didn't make the cut. Yeah, they didn't. It just yeah. wasn't. There. But just tell them. So it just ends right there. Don't stri- struggle them down long. Don't don't do that. Don't prolong it. Yeah, I'll be yeah, blaming them. Hey, 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 how would you feel if I was talking to you, right? Mm-hmm. And we just smashed. And we never got serious. How would you feel? Mm-hmm. Well, for one, me and my maturity and just who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! I'm gonna leave your ass alone. There's more people out exactly. there. Exactly. I'm just gonna leave. But there's no end to it. Same thing with a guy trying to be your friend. You gotta. He wants to smash it. You gotta eventually just get it and just remove yourself. You can't just keep holding hate. What are you gonna do to this person? Force them? You can't. You gotta let it go. It's more people. Don't be bitter. Literally. Yeah. Just don't be bitter. <laughs> Let it go. Okay. You're wow. not going to get... Let it go. Yeah. Okay. Let it go. Yeah. Okay. I don't okay. know, man. I feel like I feel like the situation Merch. is different when we're in front of these people, right? Yeah. I feel yeah. like if we were actually yeah. in front of these people, I feel like it's just certain... It's, it's certain feelings we, we, we haven't experienced when we're in front of these motherfuckers. So it's like... Me, I look up to Angelina Jolie. Mm-hmm. If I'm in front of Angelina Jolie, <laughs> those lips though, and I got a girl, and I'm like, "Fuck, <laughs> when the fuck am I ever gonna be in front of Angelina Jolie with the same exact in the same situation?" It's like, it's up. I'm a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking cheat <laughs> because <laughs> Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Don't because I know if the girl that I'm go. fucking with, she and if I and I go back to her and I say, "You know what, baby?" But how would you feel? If I, you hold on, wait, let me finish. If I say, "You know what, baby?" I turned down Angelina Jolie for you. She gonna be like, "What the fuck is for wrong real? with you, nigga? Yeah. Are you fucking stupid, oh, nigga? Have you seen Salt? Yeah. Have you seen Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Are you <laughs> fucking <laughs> serious? You didn't eat her pussy at least? No, nigga. I like, come on, my nigga. Like, it's like, come on, let's let's be real. Like, if we're in these situations, we're not thinking. We're not thinking logically. We're like, oh my god, I look up to you. And Angelina, she just like, you know, eat my pussy. I'm like, you know what? You're Angelina Jolie. Of course, I'm gonna eat your pussy. I'm gonna devour you. <laughs> but what if like your girl like was like, damn, babe, I just seen Chris Brown and he just came to me. So I sucked the fuck out of Then I'm gonna be like, suck that nigga dick. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking? Do you have a video? I swear to God, I swear to God, there's not gonna be no jealousy because I'm at the end of the day. If I told my niggas, yeah, I didn't want her to suck. Uh, Chris Brown dick, they gonna look at me stupid. They gonna be like, you didn't let her suck Chris Brown dick, <laughs> nigga. That's a, nigga. That is a whole fuck, bro. That is a whole. It's not gonna kill your pride. Hell no. <laughs> how many, bro? How how many women you can say? Fuck Chris Brown. Go, exactly. Suck Chris Brown dick. I'm going to tell my grandmother. I'm gonna be like, Grandma, you know what happened last night? <laughs> I say <laughs> This nigga trolling. <laughs> I swear Lord, to God. I Lord, swear to God. He, I swear you to God. aren't putting it on I the Lord. If he kind of, I swear to God. I swear. I feel as if he kind of right because I've seen some interviews where celebrity guys well, fucking be like, oh, yeah. I think Charlamagne asked him, was like, oh, why you guys all pass around the same two, three bitches? Right. That's a good question. Well, it's like a reputation. If she could fuck future Lil Uzi Vert, blah, 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 Lori Harvey. Why I can't get in there, too? And if I do, <laughs> that means I'm part saying, of the bro. GOAT tier. Like, that's, what that's just saying. what they think. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It's like, 